Good evening. I'm trying to get the mic, the camera set up. There we go. <clears throat> I'm Father Bill Stanton from St. Albans Episcopal Church here in Windsor, Colorado. And I'm coming to you from my deck in Greeley. Um, and it's a beautiful day. I see some far off clouds in the horizon, but otherwise just beautiful clear blue skies. Um, the sun has been very warm today. It's a nice summer day, and so I hope you got to enjoy it, um, or at least a little bit of it, because it has just been glorious today. We're continuing with our journey through the Psalms, praying the Psalter of David, as set forth in our prayer book. <clears throat> and on this 12th day of June, we're beginning with our 12th day evening prayer psalms, which begins with Psalm 65, continues with 66 and 67, and, and well, it ends with 67, and then we'll pick up tomorrow morning with Psalm 68. And so, it sounds as if, or it looks as if, Psalm 65 is a hymn. Uh, the Latin is Tedeset Hymnus. So it appears it is a hymn psalm. So when you listen to it, hear what that song might sound like to you. Psalm 65, which begins on page 672. You are to be praised, O God, in Zion. To you shall vows be performed in Jerusalem. To you that hear prayer shall all flesh come because of their transgressions. Our sins are stronger than we are, but you will blot them out. Happy are they whom you choose and draw to your courts to dwell there. They will be satisfied by the beauty of your house, by the holiness of your temple. Awesome things you will show us in your righteousness, O God of our salvation. O oh, hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. You make fast the mountains by your power. They are girded about with might. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves and the clamor of the peoples. Those who dwell at the ends of the earth will tremble at your marvelous signs. You make the dawn and the dusk to sing for joy. You visit the earth and water it abundantly. You make it very plenteous. The river of God is full of water. You prepare, you prepare the grain, for so you provide for the earth. You drench the furrows and smooth out the ridges. With heavy rain, you soften the ground and bless its inheritance. You crown the year with your goodness and your paths overflow with plenty. May the fields of the wilderness be rich for grazing, and the hills be clothed with joy. May the meadows cover themselves with flocks, and the valleys cloak themselves with grain. Let them shout for joy and sing. Psalm 66, Jubilate Deo. Be joyful in God, all you lands. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bow down, bow, all the earth bows down before you and sings to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God, how wonderful he is in doing toward all people. He turned the sea into dry land so that they went through the water on foot. And there we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules forever. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, you peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare and laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies right over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows 
which I promised with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beasts with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what he has done for me. I called out to him with my mouth, and his praise was on my tongue. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not rejected my prayer, nor withheld his love from me. Psalm 67. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing, and may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. Well, beloved, that is the last of our psalms today. Happy Loving Day today. Today is National Loving Day. And so for those of you who know what that is, I wish you a blessed day. And for the rest of us, may you enjoy this night. May God shine his light of countenance upon you. Show, him, show you his face. And may the blessing of God always be upon you and keep you safe this night. Amen. I hope to see you tomorrow morning at 7.30 as we continue with our psalms, beginning with Psalm 68. Have a blessed night. Bye-bye.